Looks like you're getting into something, Trish. Maybe. Does this have anything to do with the apples we picked the other day? Possibly. Because we picked so many apples we needed something to do with them? No, it's not that we didn't want to do with it. But I guess we'll attempt to make apple crisps. Well, an attempt it shall be. What's next? Okay, so... The recipe I'm using, I got off of, I don't know, I'll try, we'll try to attempt to put the link in the description. It's a Pinterest, um, it's a Pinterest recipe, so we'll try to put the link in the description. So we're going to start with the crumb topping, and I need a third a cup of butter cut into little pieces. Half a cup of all purpose flour. Have you ever tried buying flour that's not all purpose? Like, have you ever. Me? Yeah. Um, have you I've, ever seen flour that was not all purpose? Well, yeah, they have all kinds of different flours. They have almond flour, they have coconut flour, there's all kinds of different flours. And you can't, there's no purposes for those? I don't know. <laughs> You're so funny. So, half a cup of all purpose flour. Um, half a cup of oats. Oh, it says old fashioned rolled oats. So, we've got old fashioned oats here. I can get it open. Half a cup of that. We need half a cup of light brown sugar. It doesn't say whether it should be packed or not. I'm going to assume it should be regular level. So we're going to go with that. I am using a half cup, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good to know, right? <laughs> half a cup of it. Um, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, unfortunately, in my house, this is the only spoon I can find. And it's one teaspoon. So we're going to improvise and pretend that we can decipher what a quarter and a half a teaspoon looks like. So it says... <laughs> Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Check. Um, quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I get it open. Quarter teaspoon. Oh, that look good. Looks good to me, right? A little cinnamon goes a long way. Yeah, just a little bit more. <laughs> I like cinnamon. A uh, dash of salt, which I'm going to leave out because it calls for unsalted butter. I got salted. <laughs> so, and it says the unsalted butter cut into small pieces, which we've already kind of done. Blah, blah, blah. So, we're going to do that. And then it says to mix the ingredients for the pastry blender, whatever that is. Does anybody know what a pastry blender is? I don't know what a pastry blender is. I do, but we don't have one. Okay, well then, there, that's why we don't know. Uh, or a fork. Fork it is. Fork it is. Mix that until it resembles small crumbs. I'm going to say that's good enough because my hand hurts. And then put it in the refrigerator. So, that in the fridge. Half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of 
and while you prepare the apple filling. I think I'm going to wait to add the apples. I need a bigger bowl. Because this bowl is more my messy cabinet. I am no chef. I'm no baker. Uh, most of the time I don't even like to cook. But this just looks yummy. So, for the apple filling, I used a Johnny Apple Peeler when we used our hands. In a small bowl combined melted butter. So I need to melt the butter. And I need, how much butter do I need? I need do, 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 three tablespoons of butter. So, thank gosh that they already have the measurements on the butter sticks. It makes life so much easier for us people that don't like to cook. One, two, three. So, three tablespoons of butter. Maybe if we put this one together, we'll get another stick. Close. Maybe. Not quite a full one, though. I'm going to clean up a mess a little bit. Clean up your mess. Clean as you go. So we'll melt that. I say, what, 30 seconds? Should do it. Um, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Are you done with the oats? Two tablespoons? Okay, well, we're, I don't have a tablespoon, so. That's tablespoon. Is that a tablespoon? It's a tablespoon. That works. So, two tablespoons of all purpose flour. Does that look great? Yep. Okay. Two tablespoons of all purpose flour, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon. Give it a good firm squeeze and be happy. That should be. Here's some lemon juice. Um, oops. Three tablespoons of milk. Well, we got milk. One. Two, three, give or take. <laughs> okay. Uh, tablespoons of milk. A half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Flour, lemon juice, milk, vanilla extract, a quarter cup of light brown sugar. A half quarter cup. A quarter cup of light brown sugar. A half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Is that ground cinnamon or cinnamon sugar? This is ground cinnamon. We have the brown sugar. We don't need the brown sugar. Brown yeah. sugar. The brown sugar, so we don't need the sugar cinnamon. A dash of salt, which again I'm going to leave out because they're salt in the butter. And this house does not need to add salt to anything. And butter. I'm going to kind of whisk this together a little bit before I add the apples. Start over again. You're going to whisk it together? Is that what you want? Yeah. Just because before I add the apples, just so I know that. Once I get the apples in there, I like to take the apples. It does not say to do this. I'm just doing it. It just says to mix it in a bowl. Then I'm going to add my apples. Like so. And by the way, if anybody would like to volunteer, come and wash the dishes. Um, let me know in the comments. <laughs> and you're hired. But I can't afford to pay. So we're going to mix the apples into that mixture. Looks yummy. Oh, and by the way, we had to preheat the oven to 375, in case you were wondering. 
we did all that before we started this process, which makes sense because now we have a drip. So that looks good, right? Okay, so. And the pour butter mixture. Okay, so I did all that. Over apples and tossed a code. Hey, I did pretty good. I did, what did say to do that? I didn't even read it. <laughs> oh, you should really read the directions before you do anything. Okay, bake for, okay, so we need a dish. Dish check. I'm going to run a towel through just to make sure. There's no dust in it. We're going to take the apples. Put it in the dish. Like so. Get all that yummy goodness out of there. Because we all like the yummy goodness. And we're going to spread this evenly in the dish. And then we need our crumb topping. And then it says to evenly pour the crumb topping. Maybe it's going to to help this out a little bit. It'll bake, so any germs that are still in my hands. I did wash my hands, by the way, before we started all this. Not to mention it's my family that's eating it. I'm not serving it in the restaurant. Evenly over the apples. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Looks good. Don't stick your hand on it. I mean, I'm gonna stick a fork in it. <laughs> make sure it's done. <laughs> yep. And I don't want to overcook it or burn it, so we're gonna leave it as it is. Right. And we also have. Uh, it's a two-part dessert. We also yeah. have. Uh, Go with it. <laughs> Go with it. Okay, let's find out how much, how good this is. Looks good. Time to see how it tastes. How's it taste? <laughs> I think it's a winner. I think it's a winner. It's pretty good. It's yummy. Want some? There you go. Have some. It's actually quite good. Mm. So check out the link, it's in the description. Do you froggy make one? Pretty good. But make sure you get some ice cream or a cool whip or something to put on it too, just to Oh yeah, balance gotta it have out. the ice cream. Yin and yang. Gotta have the ice cream. So, super yummy, glad we made it. Have a good night.